Yes, I do. I'm actually the owner of Happy Ice. Really? Yes. Wow. And we serve Philadelphia water ice. You ever had it before? Never. Oh, man. You need to learn more about it. You want to learn more? Yes, please. Whoa. It's so colorful in here. And look, there's a rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> I love rainbows. Let's see which colors this rainbow has. Red, pink, yellow, blue, a different shade of blue, and green. Wow. And hey, look at these clouds. Wait a minute. Oh, we're surrounded by clouds. Whoa, do you see that up there? <laughs> so fluffy. <laughs> Check out this watermelon. Oh, would you like to count the seeds with me? Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten watermelon seeds. <laughs> and did you know this part of the watermelon is called the rind? <laughs> yeah, it's green. Cool. <laughs> Oh, and look, another red fruit. Do you know what it's called? That's right, cherries. Let's count the cherries. One, two, two delicious cherries. Check out all these fruits. <laughs> oh, look at this one, a lemon. It's one of my favorite colors, yellow. Do you see any other yellow fruit? <gasps> yeah, this pineapple has yellow and green too. This pineapple is so sweet and this one is really sour. <laughs> oh, and look at all these red fruits. Strawberries and some more cherries, just like this one. <laughs> and watermelon too. Oh, I love this place. It makes me feel so happy. Happy ice, happy ice. Sounds so good, I had to sing it twice. <laughs> and look. Another rainbow. Whoa. Let's see where the rainbow goes. Ooh. Hey, Lemire. Hey. You ready to get started? Are you ready to get started? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we can start off by letting you choose the flavor we start making it in. <gasps> can I choose two flavors? Why not? Today's a special day. Oh, great. What color should we choose? I see white and green. I would love to try a yellow flavor, but I don't see any. Oh, well this right here, I know it looks orange, uh -huh. but when we make it and it comes out to the machine, it's gonna be bright yellow, just like your headband. Oh, perfect. I'd like that flavor, please. Gotcha. And I would like my other favorite color, purple too, but I don't see it. Oh, purple is your favorite color? Yes, one well, of guess them. Guess what? We don't typically have purple, but I did make a custom flavor recently that I didn't get a chance to use, but today's a special day. Whoa. It's lavender. Lavender? What does yes. that taste like? So lavender is a floral flavor. Uh -huh. It's like a herb, very light, but very, very good. Oh, I like that one, please. All right. Purple and yellow. Got it. Let's do it. Great. <laughs> Let's go make it. All righty. We now have our flavors. Great. You ready to start making? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're chefs today, so we have to have our aprons. Great. Now, we're gonna go ahead and pour our flavor inside of our pitchers right here. Okay. Okay? You wanna do yellow? Yes, please. 
I'll go ahead and do the purple. Wow. All right. Go ahead and pour the whole thing inside. All right. righty. I'll take that one. You can now you have your lavender. Lavender. Mm-hmm. In the machine. Pour that one, one. inside of there. Mmm, <laughs> it smells so good. Doesn't it? Yeah. It tastes good too. Awesome. Thank you. And now sitting at the top of the machines is our special water mix. This is what makes Philadelphia water ice, Philadelphia water ice. <laughs> Very special. You want to go ahead and take this. Okay. And pour this right directly inside the machine with the flavor. Okay. Here I go. You are doing a good job today. Oh, thank you. Perfect. Yep. And we got one more. Where to go? You actually make two flavors. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Perfect. All righty. So now we're at the final stages. Okay. And we want to make the product. So we have our icons on here. And the one that kind of looks like an ice cream cone, when we hit that one, the machine is going to start and it's going to freeze the product oh. and actually turn it into Philadelphia water ice. Wow. Okay. Okay. So I'll let you have the honors of counting down and okay. we're going to hit the button together. Together. Ready? All right. Three, two, one. Oh. Wow. Check out all this foam. <laughs> all righty. So now the product is frozen inside and it's time for us to let it out. All right. So I'm gonna start off by just hitting this button. And this one, and now it's ready to come out. So I'm gonna stir up the top a little bit. Get the top mixture a little solid. All right, and we ready to go. Here go your bright yellow. Remember I told you like a headman? Yeah, All right. looks great. I'm gonna let it out, I'm gonna demonstrate on this one and you're gonna do that one, okay? Okay. All right, so you wanna bring it to the center. You have to lift it up and then the product comes out. And we wanna stir it. Wow, it's going inside of the bucket. Whoa. Then once it fills up, bring this back down, turn it to the side, stop the machine. Keep stirring. We're going to stir it a little bit just to flatten it out. And you are all set. Okay. You want to start by hitting that button, uh -huh. then that one, and then you can lift up the handle. Go ahead, turn that to the middle, lift it up. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah. And go ahead and stir as it's coming out. Do I fill up the whole bucket? That should be enough right there. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna stop the machine for you. And now we have to go ahead and pop on our two lids. Okay. And once we pop on our lids, we're gonna hurry up and get inside of the freezer so there's no ice crystals and we're all ready to go. Great. Okay? All right. So we need our two lids. We're gonna pop our lids on. Perfect. <laughs> so now you wanna go ahead and get them inside of the freezer okay. so they can get ready to serve. <laughs> so good i had to sing it twice happy ice happy ice happy life <laughs> oh look we have a customer <laughs> wait i thought i had a customer <gasps> oh there she is <laughs> here you go hey, yeah. you're welcome enjoy <laughs> great another happy customer Thanks for helping me learn about Happy Ice today. We got to visit the Happy Ice truck and try different flavors, and we even made our own flavor. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. See you later, friends. Whoa, hey, 
It's me, Blippi! Whoa! And look at where we're at! Yeah! Today, we're at Aquarium of Boise in Boise, Idaho! And this place is awesome. Yeah, it's an aquarium! Have you ever been to an aquarium before? Yeah! It's so cool because they have so many marine animals here. Yeah! Marine animals are animals that live in the water! Well, shall we go explore? Let's go! Whoa! Oh, there's so many different kinds of fish in here! Whoa, they're all back there! Oh, hello! <laughs> Whoa, look up here! Looks like a list of different types of fish! Oh, look at that one! That one's called a yellow tang! Yeah, and it's all yellow! <laughs> I wonder why it's called yellow tang! <laughs> Ooh, and look at this one! It says purple tang! Ooh, looks like it's purple and yellow! Whoa! Ooh, and that one way over there! Whoa! Powder blue tang! Whoa! Yeah, it's blue and yellow! Okay, let's try and find them. Um, let's find the yellow tang. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty distinct looking, huh? All yellow. Okay, not that one. <gasps> Wait, there's one way over there. Do you see it? It's so far back there. Oh, it's hiding. Hello, yellow tang. <laughs> Look up there. Yeah, an orange, white, and black fish. <gasps> I know what that is. Look up here. Yeah. That's the fish. It's a clownfish. Look up there. Do you see that blue fish? Yeah, it's just pure blue. It's really bright and vibrant. And look up here. Whoa, it's a blue damselfish. It's so bright and blue and colorful. Cool. See you later, fish. <laughs> Whoa, more fish. <laughs> Whoa. Look at this in here. Wait a second. This looks like the same shape as the last clownfish, but this one is just black and white. Yeah, do you see it right there? Yeah, a black and white striped fish. Here comes another one. Wait, yeah, this is actually a type of clownfish. Yeah, but can you think of an animal that lives on land that's black and white stripes? Yeah, a zebra. Wow, cool. These are the zebras of the ocean. <laughs> see you later, clownfish. Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, that looked like a puffer fish to me. Whoa, actually, it's a porcupine puffer. Yeah, looks really smooth right now. But if it gets frightened or scared or angry, what it does is its cheeks puff out and its whole body, yeah, becomes spiky. Yeah, it's a defense mechanism. Super cool. <laughs> Whoa, and look down here. Whoa, do you see this? Wow, looks like an eel. Yeah, this is actually a yellowhead moray eel. And it's just hanging out in the rocks. Yeah, just chilling. Yeah, that's what eels like to do. Hang out in the rocks and just poke their heads out. <laughs> All right, see you later. Fun hanging out with you. <laughs> Whoa, what else do they have here? <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Looks like an old boat that then water got into and rocks over the years. Whoa, it's a perfect fish habitat. Oh, and look at what I have. <laughs> yeah, some snacks for the fish. Yeah, just like how you and I like snacks. Yeah, fish like snacks too. Whoa, and they said I can actually feed these fish. All right, first let's try these peas. There we go. <laughs> All right, pour it in my hand. And then we'll see if the fish like to come and eat some food. Here you go. Whoa, do you see all those fish? Yeah, those are Japanese koi fish. There's so many of them and they're so colorful. All right, we have a little bit more food over here. All right, hello, Japanese koi fish. Yeah. All right, here you go. Whoa, are you hungry? Oh, they're so cool looking. They're so colorful. Yeah, some are 
orange and black, some are white and black, and some are white, black, and orange. Oh, see you later. <laughs> All right, what else is around here? Whoa, look at this tank. This tank is massive. Looks like the fish are all on the other side. Oh, but there's a lot of gallons and liters of water in here. Oh, oh, and look at this. Whoa, looks like a scuba diver. Whoa, do you see this helmet? It looks like a port right here. Yeah, scuba divers have this area so then they can see while they're underwater. Ooh, and scuba divers wear this outfit so then they can stay warm under the water and so they can breathe underwater. You know how you and I have to hold our breath underwater? Scuba divers can breathe while they're underwater. Cool. Ooh, and do you see this big weight? Yeah, us humans, we tend to float. So this weight is holding the scuba diver on the bottom of the sea floor. So then this scuba diver can work. Yeah, looks like the scuba diver works underwater. Wow! Whoa, look at all these tanks! Wow, this is so cool! Woo, and look at this one! It's really big and bright and vibrant. Yeah! Do you see that? Yeah, that orange thing? That is actually a sea anemone. Whoa, and do you see those rock looking things up there? Yeah, they're also pretty bright. Those are coral. Yeah, sea anemones and coral. Yeah, they're actually animals. They kind of just look like rocks, huh? Those coral do? <laughs> well, hey, do you see how bright they are and just vibrant in color? Yeah, it's actually because there's algae that lives inside the sea anemone. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Whoa, oh look. You see how that fish is just hanging out with that sea anemone and right next to all that coral? Yeah. Coral is actually really, really important because a bunch of fish like these ones actually live in all the coral. Yeah, it's just like how you and I live in a house. Yeah, these fish love to live inside the coral. Oh, and around the coral and use sea anemones as a nice soft bed. <laughs> so cozy. Oh, oh, and look at this one. Oh, it's really bright and green. Whoa. So cool. Hey, remember how we saw that eel hanging out in the rock and the coral? Yeah, they're just hanging out in their homes. <laughs> See you later, enjoy your homes. <laughs> Look over here. Wow, this is a big tank. Whoa, do you see that fish way over there? Whoa, yeah, there's a fish way back there. It's so big. It's a bumblebee grouper. Yeah, and actually they live to be 80 to 100 years old. But this one's only about 10 years old. So it's gonna get way bigger. Whoa, whoa, these are some big fish in here. Whoa, look at these. Hello, hey, and look at the bottom. Whoa, do you see all those? Yeah, they definitely look like sharks, huh? <laughs> look at them just hanging out out the bottom. Whoa. Whoa, look at these fish. More big fish. Yeah, these are Paku. Yeah, Pakus to be exact, because there's many of them. Whoa, and they kind of look like really big piranhas. Yeah, and actually they eat vegetables. They're herbivores. Yeah, you see how big they are? Whoa. And actually, let me show you something right up here. It's really cool. Yeah, here's the teeth. Do you see this? Yeah, they kind of look like human teeth that they have, huh? Whoa! And I have a big treat for us. Yeah, these pakus, I bet, are very hungry and we have a nice yummy snack for them. Yeah, these are almonds. Watch out, they might splash. Whoa! Look at them go! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, I'm throwing them down so then they hear and see them splash. There we go. Yeah, it's like they're falling off of trees. Whoa, here you go. Whoa, they must be really hungry. Let me do a few at the same time. 
Oh, don't worry, everyone. There's more for everyone. Here you go. Whoa, cool. <laughs> Whoa. All right, here's some more. <laughs> wow. Aren't they cool? They must be very, very hungry. Whoa, cool. <laughs> Wow, wasn't this so much fun learning about marine animals together? Yeah, I had a great time learning with you. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video though. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Lippy. Good job. All right, see you again. <laughs> It's me, Blippi, and today I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. <laughs> I am so excited to learn about penguins. <laughs> Whoa! Look at these animals! Yeah, these are penguins, and they're actually humbled penguins. Oh, they are so cute. Hello. <laughs> These penguins, yeah, their native land is Peru and northern Chile. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a cold place. Those countries are actually really warm. So these penguins live basically in the desert. <laughs> Since penguins are birds, they have a lot of feathers. And these feathers are really small and dense on its body. Oh, hey, cutie. <laughs> and do you see its wings? Yeah, its wings actually are more like flippers because then they can swim super fast in the water. And actually, penguins actually can't even fly with their wings. That's OK, because you're a really good swimmer. <laughs> Oh, check it out. Do you see how this penguin doesn't have stripes? Yeah, they're just teeny little black dots. Hey, and the one right behind it, yeah, there's those big black stripes. That one is an adult. So front one is a child, and the back one is an adult. Whoa, hey. <laughs> they're almost the same size, though. <laughs> how are you? Are you having a good day? Because <laughs> I sure am. <laughs> Whoa, do you see these penguins? Yeah, they look like cute pets, don't they? Yeah, but they're actually not. Penguins don't make good pets. Although they're nice, yeah, they're living at this zoo so we can take care of them and we can learn about them. And the more we learn about these cute, humble penguins, the better we can take care of their cousins around the world. <laughs> Whoa, penguins? Yeah, we're behind the scenes at the aquarium and we're gonna meet some penguins, come on. Okay, let's walk nice and slow and we'll be very quiet as well. Ooh. Hey, who are you? Hutch. Ooh, this is Hutch. Hey, and what do you do here? I work with the penguins and reptiles. Ooh, the penguins and the reptiles. Oh, do you see the penguins back there? Oh, hello. Are these your only two penguins here? Oh, no, we have more friends that are coming. Would you like to grab a toy? We're actually going to play with them. Sure. Okay, let's grab a toy and let's see some more penguins. Look over there. Movement with their toys. So we have Violet that has already come over to say hi. It, it 
It looks like it's enjoying my shadow, huh? That does happen. So penguins really like contrasting colors. They also can see colors really well. They have rods and cones in their eyes, just like we do. Okay. They're kind of, although they're birds, they're kind of acting like kitty cats, huh? Just a little bit. They do like to play with a lot of different types of toys. And just like kitty cats, they tell us when they want to be touched. Okay. Huh. Interesting. It's pretty cool. Hey, get a closer look. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> are so silly. So where are these penguins from? These penguins are from South Africa and we have 32 of them here at the Imperial. Wow, 32 penguins here. And these are from South Africa? Wait, not Antarctica? Not Antarctica. There are actually one of several species of penguins that prefer the warm climate. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Interesting. Warm climate and penguins. I guess you learn something every day. <laughs> okay, let's take a seat right over here. And then Hutch is gonna bring a penguin over. <laughs> I'm so excited. I get to touch a penguin. Ooh, hello. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna touch the penguin with two fingers gently on its back. Okay, are you ready? Oh, it felt so soft. Did you know penguins have 70 feathers per square inch? Yeah, they're really small and really dense. Can I touch the again, Hutch? Yes, you can. Okay. Does that feel good? You like that? She's showing off for you. What does that mean when she shakes her head? So that means she's really happy uh, and you might be her new boyfriend. Ooh. <laughs> I hope she doesn't want to kiss. <laughs> Guys, we're getting ready to feed the penguins today. So we have some of their favorite fish. These are called ocean smell, also known as silver sides, because they have that silver stripe on their side. And I have herring, it's silver like an anchovy and sardines, just like they eat in the wild. Okay, you guys ready to eat? Even hungry. Ooh, I'm gonna try and feed the penguins. <laughs> All right. Whoa, look at these fish. Whoa, if I was a penguin, I would sure want to eat this. <laughs> okay, here you go. Oh, <laughs> here you go, penguin. Here's another one. Hey, there you go. Oh, <laughs> that one must be really hungry. <laughs> okay, here you go. Alright, so these fish are a lot smaller. Here you go. Oh, perfect. You want another one? <laughs> Here's another one. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, penguins. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, you're hungry. <laughs> yeah. Fish are nice and healthy for these penguins. Ah! <laughs> All right. Yeah, just like how we eat fruits and vegetables. Yeah, they love fish. <laughs> um, how about you? You haven't had one? Oh, whoa. There's so many penguins that want food. 
There you go. Oh, whoa. All right, there you go. That one right here is so hungry. They have gotten so many of the fish. Oh, here you go. Whoa. Okay, penguins, get ready. Well, it sure has been a lot of fun learning about penguins with you. But this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you again. It's me, Blippi, and I'm just out exploring today. Wow, what beautiful land this is. Hey, come on. Whoa, look at all this tall grass. I wonder what's on the other side. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Yeah. Today, I'm in Tenino, Washington, and this looks like a secret go-kart track. Yeah. Oh, I sure do love go-karts. Have you ever ridden a go-kart before? Yeah, they're so fast. Grabbing that steering wheel, phew, round the corners, phew. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Whoa, I was just acting like I was driving a go-kart. Oh, speaking of go-karts, yeah, this thing is awesome. Hey, what color go-kart is this? Yeah, the main color of this go-kart is the color red. Yeah, I do like the color red. Hey, look at the number up here. Every go-kart has to have a number. So then you know when you cross the finish line if you won. <laughs> and this number right here, what number is it? One, two, three, Four, five. Yeah, this number is five. Wow, whoa, this is so cool. And do you see these wheels and tires? Yeah, they have some dirt and mud on them. Someone must have been racing this go-kart. Yeah, and actually these tires, yeah, they're not normal tires like on a car or a truck, how it has tread. These are nice and flat, yeah better for speed. <laughs> oh, hey, look. This is the engine of the go-kart. Whoa, there's so many parts. One way to turn it on is this. You pull it up and then it gets the motor turning and it turns it on. Provides the power so you can go fast. <laughs> Whoa, back here, look at this. This is a chain and this is how the engine provides all the power to the rear wheels and tires. Whoa, I am so excited to ride this. Oh, speaking of riding it, yeah, this is where I'm gonna sit. This is the seat. Oh, it sure does look comfortable, doesn't it? <laughs> Woo, and this is the steering wheel. Do you see when I turn the wheel, it turns the wheels and tires? Whoa, that looks fun. Oh, and last but not least, right up here. This is where you put your feet. Push down right here for the brake. And on the other side, this is for the gas. Speaking of gas, yeah, the engine needs gas. And right here, this is where you fill it up. 
Okay, it looks like we explored the whole go-kart, so it must be time to drive and race the go-kart. Oh geez, I am so excited! Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah, let's go! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Wait a second, I need all my safety gear! Three, two, one! Whoa! Check it out! Yeah, my safety gear! Yeah, I have my helmet on, my goggles, my gloves, and that means I am ready to race. Yeah! You have to wear a helmet, so then it keeps your head nice and safe. You have to wear gloves, so then you can hold on to the steering wheel nice and tight. And you wear, yeah, the goggles, so then dirt and mud doesn't flip in your face. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I forgot to turn on the go-kart. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, make sure everything's turned on. And remember what I said earlier? We need to give it a pull. This go-kart is the color black, and its number is five, eight, nine, whoa! Hey, who are you? Kylie. Kylie? Well, it looks like you're my competition. Are you ready to race? Yes. Whoa! Looks like Kylie is ready. Oh, hey, another competitor. Oh, what's your name? Lincoln. Lincoln? Whoa, are you ready to race? Yeah. Who do you think's gonna win? Me. Whoa, that sounds like some tough competition. All right, looks like Lincoln is ready, looks like Kylie is ready, and me, Blippi, is ready to race. All right, let's start those engines.
just spun out. Yeah, that was so much fun driving this go-kart and racing this go-kart. Oh geez, this red go-kart. Yeah, the red number five go-kart did me so good today. We had a safe day riding go-karts together. Good job. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. All right, I should probably take another lap. <laughs> See you soon, bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, today we're at Leavenworth Ski Hill in Leavenworth, Washington. It is a winter wonderland today, and you and I are gonna have some fun in the snow. Let's go! Whoa! That was so much fun! Whoa! Did you see what I just did? Yeah, I rode this inner tube down that hill. But that hill wasn't that big. But hey, here we have a bigger hill and we have a machine to tow you up to the hill. So then you don't have to walk all the way up there. I'll show you that soon. But first, this is an inner tube. Whoa, this inner tube has a red cover on it. Whoa, it protects the inner tube. The actual inner tube is black and rubber on the inside, see? And then there's an inner tube leash. And this ring is what the hook hooks onto, that then it tows you up to the top of the hill. Woo Whoa! Let's go check it out. Okay, check it out. So this machine, yeah, there's cables there, there's gears. Check out the gears. Whoa, do you see those gears? spinning around, and that is what is providing all its strength and power for these hooks right there to tow the tube and the person to the top of the hill. All right, let's hook one up, and then we'll watch the inner tube go. All right, I have a game to play. Let's count how many tubes we see, all right? One. Two. Three. Four tubes. All righty, good job. We just counted to four together. Now, I have another game. This one's pretty simple. What shape is this inner tube? Hmm, it's not a square. Is it a triangle? No, it's the same shape as a tire. Yeah, it's a circle. Good job. Hey, check it out. Look at what this is. This is a black rubber mat. It's really heavy. Ugh. And this is a gray carpet. Yeah, just like maybe carpet that you might have at home. Yeah, these mats and carpets are placed on the inner tube path to help slow you down. Because if not, maybe you'd go too fast and go off a big jump. <laughs> All right, here I go. Whoa!
Awesome! <laughs> Oh, check it out! What a cool machine this is! The great thing about ski hills are they have really cool machines to maintain the land! Whoa, check it out! Wow! Do you see this? Yeah, this is a track! Yeah, this vehicle has tracks! Interesting! Most vehicles have wheels and tires. But not this one, this one has tracks, so then it can dig into the snow, and then it won't slip and slide. <laughs> Let's check it out. Woo! Oh, that's backwards. Oh, check it out! Do you see what I'm doing? Yeah, I'm riding a bike! Isn't this weird? I'm riding a bike on snow? Yeah, normally you ride a bike on concrete and dirt and asphalt, but check this out. Do you see this bike's tires? Yeah, they're so big and wide! Whoa! That is way wider than a normal bike tire. Yeah, these tires are called fat tires. So then they can grip more snow. So then you don't slip and slide. Wow, this bike has some good tread. Let's roll. This is snow, Ooh, and it's really cold. Now that it's so cold outside, put on your hats and gloves, and sip some nice warm cocoa from a mug. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> now that it's snowing outside, everyone's having fun. Let's take the snowboard
has been so much fun playing in the snow with you today. Wow, I sure do love the seasons. Yep, and wintertime is such a great time of the year. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Blippi. It's me, Blippi, and I was just making some sweet tunes on my tambourine. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Musical instruments are so fun, and this one is called a tambourine. <laughs> yeah! It is so much fun to play because you can play it like a drum. It has this outside part right here that you can hit like this. But what's super fun about a tambourine is the back. Whoa, look at it. It has all these little jingles. <laughs> Do you know what shape this tambourine is? <laughs> yeah, it's a circle. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's a circle and all the little jingles and jangles around it are also little teeny tiny circles. <laughs> yeah, those are called zills. Ooh, zills. <laughs> That's a really silly name for something on a tambourine. <laughs> it is really fun to play because when you hit it, it makes a beat. Yeah, a beat. Have you heard of a beat before? <laughs> a beat is a part of music that you can feel helps you dance along. <laughs> Playing with this tambourine was so fun. What if you and I made up a song on the spot about a tambourine? <laughs> okay, let's try. Here we go. My name is Blippi. How about you? This is a tambourine. It's brand new. Bang it on your hand to keep the beat. Feel it in your toes and move your feet. <laughs> yeah, good job. That was so much fun learning about tambourines and making up our very own song. <laughs> yeah! Oh, but look at this. This table is covered with different musical instruments. Whoa! Look at them all. <laughs> hmm. Hey, look at this over here. Do you know what shape this musical instrument is? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's a triangle. And guess what? The name of this instrument is the same as its shape. It's called a triangle. <laughs> yeah, triangles are really cool and make a very, very pretty sound. Hmm. How about I hit this triangle, this little stick, and see what sound it makes? What do you think? Should I play the triangle? <laughs> Okay, here we go. On the count of three. One, two, three, triangle! <laughs> Did you hear that sound? Let's play it again. Whoa! If you close your eyes, it kind of sounds like a little fairy. Or maybe the bell telling you that dinner's ready. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. <laughs> this triangle is really cool because it makes a really pretty ding sound. But depending on how you hold it or hit this triangle, it can make different sounds like this. Ooh, that's different. <laughs> Maybe not as pretty, but definitely cool. It would make some really interesting music. You can also hit it soft for a little ding, <laughs> or really big and loud for a big ding. Here we go. Whoa, triangles are so cool. Hey, and look at this over here. What's this? Hmm, well, this doesn't look like a musical instrument, 
because it's not a musical instrument. This is a metronome. Yeah, this is really helpful if you're trying to keep the beat and stay on time. Mm-hmm, yeah. See this right here? This metronome is gonna move and tell us how fast the beat of the song is. Okay, here we go. And with this metronome, you'll see something really cool. Whoa! <laughs> Do you hear the dings? <laughs> Whoa! See, it moves back and forth and tells you the beat of the song. <laughs> Whoa! I'm getting a little bit dizzy after dancing like a metronome. Ooh, <laughs> that was really fun. Hey, it's really important to make sure you stay on beat and something like a metronome is super helpful to keep you on time. <laughs> oh, and look at this. This is awesome. <laughs> I bet you might've seen one of these instruments before. Yeah, this is a keyboard or a piano. <laughs> yeah, and this keyboard is really awesome because it's an electric instrument. Yeah, this electric instrument means it needs electricity or batteries to make it work. Whoa, and look at how cool it is. It has all these keys, see? It has some white keys. Yeah, a lot of white keys you can press with your fingers and some black keys too. Yeah, in between the white keys. You can press those too to make different notes. Hmm. Notes. What's a note? Hmm. Let's turn on the keyboard and find out. <laughs> Did you hear that? Whoa, that makes such a pretty sound. If you press one of the keys, it makes a note. <laughs> if you press a different key somewhere else on the keyboard, it'll make a different note. Whoa, that note sounds different. It also makes me feel a little different too. <laughs> that note sounds pretty happy. <laughs> this note sounds a little confused. Whoa! <laughs> And you can also play songs using lots of different notes. <laughs> the cool thing about a keyboard is it has so many sounds, you can make all kinds of songs. Like maybe you want a song to be a little spooky for Halloween. Woo, <laughs> it's like a ghost is around, whoa. <laughs> That was pretty fun though. And you can also play things that are maybe a little more classical or serious. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, it's making me thirsty for some very yummy tea and cookies. <laughs> you also can play other things instead of just using your fingers. Whoa. You can be really silly and use your whole hand. Like, if I change the sound, make a fist, I can roll my fist and play a song. <laughs> Whoa, that's a really funny song. <laughs> I'm gonna play it again. Oh, keyboards are so amazing. You can even make songs that sound magical. Music is so amazing. Hey, and when you use notes, it makes the song sound even better. <laughs> hey, earlier we made up a song about a tambourine, but we only had beats. Now that we have notes, let's sing a new song with some notes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday from Flippy. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Whoa, we did it. We 
we sang a song using notes and made up a song using beats. <laughs> this was so much fun learning about musical instruments with you. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, good. Here we go. P-L-I, P-P-I, Flippy. <laughs> good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. I'm gonna keep playing some sweet tunes. And hey, this one even plays itself. in Santa Barbara, California. And this place is such a fun place to learn about science. Do you like science and learning? Yeah, today is gonna be fun then. Let's go. This is awesome. Oh, and look at this. This is a globe and actually, it uses infrared technology. Yeah, so then you can have your hands right here and this camera senses what's right on top of this black mat. Whoa! Yeah, this is some cool technology. Technology is when you take something that you learn from science and then you make something with it, like this machine. Whoa, cool. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Why don't I make a shape? Yeah, I'm gonna go like this, which stands for Blippi in sign language. All right, ready? Okay, take a picture. All right. Whoa, yeah! See, I just said Blippi in sign language. And why that means Blippi is because this looks like my bow tie. Wow, I'm having so much fun, let's go! Whoa, what a cool machine. Wow, all right, let's see what this does. Whoa, do you see how that ball is going on the track? Yeah, it started up top and it's going all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, do you know how it does that? Yeah, it does that because of gravity, cool. <laughs> Yeah, gravity is what pulls everything down back to the planet Earth. Whoa, what is this? Make some cool noise. But they actually stick together, look. <gasps> I know what these are. These are magnets. All right, let's see if we can make a rainbow type shape. Wow, magnets are awesome. Whoa, look at this. Looks like a bunch of people jumping in the air. Whoa, I wonder why they're doing that. That's so silly. Jumping is so much fun, yeah. Oh, look right over here. Oh, that's where they were jumping. Oh, and look, measurements. One foot, two feet, three feet, four feet. Oh, and it looks like three feet is about one meter. Oh, hey, look, there's me. Okay, it says jump now. All right, let's see how high I can jump. <laughs> Whoa, there I go. Whoa, I am concentrating really hard. Whoa, almost four feet. Let's go check it out over here. Oh, there I am. Oh. We'll get rid of that one. Ooh, check this out. All right, here we go, Blippi. Yeah, you can push play. 
There I go. Look at my face. I'm going. Whoa! I lifted my legs very high. Ooh, and look at this. Wow. And do you see? This is going really slow. Look. Yeah, when I jump, I go faster than this. This is called slow motion. Wow. So cool. <laughs> Ooh, another fun activity. It says start here, exit there. I wonder what this does. Whoa, look, there I am. It's motion capturing me. Ooh, I can move fast. Whoa, and I can move slow. Slow motion. Whoa, let's check it out on the screen. Whoa, cool. Hey, there I am. Yeah, see my body, my hands, my feet, and my head. All right, we can push play. Oh, there I am. Yeah, I'm dancing. Oh, yeah, I moved fast. Yeah. And then I moved slow. Wow, motion capture is so cool. And this is so much fun. Oh, there I went. <laughs> I went bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, check it out! This looks like a racetrack. But, hmm, I don't see any cars around here or planes to race. Huh, but it definitely looks like one because it looks like you start right here, you go down, you do a loop-de-loop, -loop, you do a second loop-de-loop, -loop, you do a third loop-de-loop, -loop, and then you go all the way to the finish line. Okay, let's see. What could we race around here? Oh, there's something. A pail. Ooh, and do you see what's in here? <laughs> a ball just dropped out there. All right, let me pick it up. All right, and then we should probably race some of these balls. All right, how about? <laughs> so loud. <laughs> how about these three balls? We have one made out of stone, one made out of wood and a hollow one made out of plastic. All right, <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. One, two, three, go! Yeah! Did you see that? Yeah, made it through the whole track. I wonder if this stone one will go. One, two, three, go! Whoa! All right. Now for the last one. One, two, three, go! Yeah! All three made it to the end. And did you see how they all start up top and then they all go down to the bottom? Yeah, because gravity is pulling them down. But then when the loop-de-loops happen, it slows them down because they have to go back up. You know, like walking up a hill, it's pretty hard. But going down a hill, it's way easier. Whoa! Wow! Look at all these cool things! I wonder what this does. Okay. Whoa, it sprays water when I push it through these tubes. Hey, and it spins this thing. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see if we can get this to spin. Oh, we might need to wait. All right, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, look, it's spinning now. Whoa, it's going so fast. Whoa. Wow, this is so much fun playing in the water. Whoa, look at this. Whoa, kind of looks like a corkscrew. Oh, I see what it's doing. It's actually bringing water all the way from the bottom all the way to the top. Oh, do you see it? It's pouring out the top. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, and look at all this water. 
It's like my hands are ducks, quack, 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 hanging out in the water and flying in the air. Caw! <laughs> That's not a duck. A duck goes quack, quack, quack. <laughs> hey, look at this. All this water is stuck because this is in the way and this is in the way. Oh, it's like a dam. You know, like what beavers like to make. Yeah. Whoa. All right, let's see what happens when you open this up. All the water just came out. Check it out. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, I'm all wet from the water. Hey, we should probably go dry off. <laughs> Whoa, look at these. <laughs> Here we go, let's dry off. Wow, I sure did have a lot of fun learning with you. Isn't science great? I know! Well, this is the end of this video. What? If you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Flippy. Good job, and I'm sure I'll see you again. Bye-bye! <laughs>
Well, we're in T-Rex Ranch, a very special place with lots of dinosaurs inside. And it's our job as park rangers to keep them safe. T-Rex Ranch? That is awesome! <laughs> I can't wait to see even more dinosaurs. They can be so big! <laughs> yeah, when they're babies, they're pretty small, but not too small. <laughs> I can't wait to see a baby dinosaur. I bet they're so cute. <laughs> well, you can see for yourself. We got four babies back at Dino HQ. Like any proud dad, I've got pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I can't believe I'm seeing real baby dinosaurs. <laughs> that's our baby Triceratops. <laughs> and that's our baby T Rex. And that's our baby Para, Para, Perseralophus. Oh. <laughs> you guys are good at that name. <laughs> Why, thank you. And finally, that's our baby Brachiosaurus. Ah. <laughs> Hey, Blippi, do you want to see more big dinos around T-Rex Ranch? <laughs> can we take the T-Rex one? Yeah, can we? Mm, sure, why not? <laughs> Come on. Hmm. What's the T-Rex one? <laughs> Whoa! So this is the T-Rex one? Yep. It's a UTV, a utility task vehicle. This allows us to transport personnel and cargo all throughout T-Rex Ranch. Whoa, it is so cool. <laughs> Can we hop inside? Of course. OK. <laughs> Don't forget to buckle up, Flippy. <laughs> OK. Yeah, these ones can get a little bumpy. Actually, a lot bumpy. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Whoa! <laughs> I'm so excited! Here we go! Dino with a really long neck. Hey, wait, he looks familiar. <laughs> That's the big guy I saw from earlier. That's a Brachiosaurus. But don't worry, he's friendly. And he's an herbivore, which means he only eats vegetables. <laughs> I love vegetables. A real Brachiosaurus. So cool. Hello, Mr. Brachiosaurus. Oh, and I believe one of our pteranodons has come to say hello. Oh, awesome! <laughs> I thought only birds could fly. Birds are related to dinosaurs. Wow, I'm learning so much today. <laughs> We're just getting started. Psychosaurus, she's another plant eater. Oh, it's so silly. I like you, Stegosaurus. You're my new friend. <laughs> Can we see some other dinosaurs? Yeah, what about the big guy? Yeah, the big guy. <laughs> All right, but only if we stay inside the T-Rex one. <laughs> I don't know who this big guy is, but I sure am excited to find out. <laughs> dinosaurs are so amazing. They come in all different shapes and sizes. Do you have a favorite dinosaur? <laughs> yeah, I like that one too. This is where some of our biggest, most ferocious dinosaurs live. If you look carefully, sometimes you can see them walking through the trees. Maybe they're sleeping today? What was that? Tyrannosaurus Rex. King of the dinosaurs. And that's a raptor. They're small, but fast. Is it okay that we're this close? Yeah, yeah, we should be fine as long as we don't upset them. Okay, say cheese. I think we just upset them. Whoa! He's still back there! Uh. Park Ranger 
Helper app. Orexa can sometimes understand what dinosaurs are saying. Yes, Park Ranger Asher? Orexa, translate Dino Wars. Translating. Photo, photo. Sounds to me like the T-Rex and Raptor want to see the photo you took of them, Blippi. <laughs> oh, okay. Here you go. <laughs> we all buckled up and ready? Yeah. Let's go. was great! Thanks for showing me around T-Rex Ranch! <laughs> Our pleasure, Purple. <laughs> yeah, it was fun to meet you. Ooh, yeah, and there's still one picture I'd like to add to my photo collection. One of me and my new friends, the T-Rex Ranch Parker Rangers! <laughs> okay, say cheese! <laughs> yeah, I had such a fun day today <laughs> here at T-Rex Ranch. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Philippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> It's me, Mika, and today I'm at Children's Fairyland in Oakland, California, and I'm riding the Wonder Go Round. Woohoo! Giddy up! <laughs> Do you want to meet some of my friends? All right, let's go. This is the Dodo. Hello, Dodo. Hello, Mika. Oh. <laughs> oh, and this is the Mad Hatter. <laughs> Oh, and the griffin. I love the griffin's purple wings. And this, I bet you recognize this animal. See those tusks? It's the walrus. Hello, walrus. Hello, Mika. <laughs> I really want to go on my own adventure. Will you come with me? All right, giddy up. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, check out this giant blue whale. This is Willy the Whale to be exact. Hi, Willy the Whale, I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> Big blue whales are really cool and they're the biggest mammal on the planet. Whoa, hey Willy, do you mind if I come inside? All right, let's go. Wow. Look, there is a note inside of Willie's mouth and it says, Mika, <laughs> that's me. Okay, <clears throat> your Storyland adventure starts here. So get up and on your feet. Use your five senses to explore Fairyland. You'll make friends and find a yummy treat. Oh, I love making new friends and I really like treats. This is gonna be so much fun. Okay, five senses, that's, Seeing, smelling, hearing, touch, and taste. So we will see with our eyes and we'll smell with our noses and hear. Oh, can you hear any sounds? Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> and there's taste with your mouth and touch with your hands, with your skin. Oh, this is gonna be really, really fun. I just know it. Hey. Let's swim like whales on out of here. Ready? <laughs> hey, there's more water over here. Water's something fun to feel, and that's one of our senses. Okay, let's see. I wonder if the water is hot or cold. Let's touch it and find out. Whoa, it's very, very cold. Wow, but hey, that's one of our senses. I touched the water. <laughs> well, that water would not be fun for me to swim in, but a big whale would love to swim in that cold water. Can you think of other animals that like to swim in cold water? 
Maybe a seal? <laughs> or a walrus? <laughs> or <gasps> a penguin? Let's waddle like penguins out of here and find some other things. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle. Do you hear that? Quack, quack. Yeah, I hear a duck. Wow, so we used feeling and now we're using hearing. That's two senses. Do you see any ducks? Back there on the other side of the water. I see one, two, three ducks. Hey, and they're hanging out around Rapunzel's tower. Hi, Rapunzel. See, she's at the very top and her hair's so long. It goes all the way down to the bottom of the tower. <laughs> oh, and hey, it's Mr. Todd, the fox from Tales of Beatrix Potter. Hi, it's me, Mika, do you remember? It was a long time ago, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, ducks are so cool. Did you know that they eat seeds and fruit and worms? <laughs> oh, but remember, do not feed ducks without getting permission. <laughs> I'll see you later, ducks. Let's see what else we can find. Come on. Quack, quack. Hey, we already used two of our senses, feeling and hearing. I wonder if we can smell anything. Let's try. Actually, I smell something really good. I bet it's these flowers. Let's see. Oh yeah, they smell so good. Did you know that flowers smell good to attract pollinators like butterflies, hummingbirds, even ladybugs and bumblebees? Yeah. They're attracted to the flower, so they'll fly over and get some pollen on them and then fly to another flower and spread that pollen around, which plants more seeds, which creates more plants for all of us. So thank you, pollinators. <laughs> hey, I wonder if we can see anything. Let me go into my jam pack and get my <laughs> binoculars. Ooh, I see a tunnel over there. Let's go check it out. Come on. Where is that tunnel? Oh, <laughs> look at that silly clock. It's going the opposite direction. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right, where is the tunnel? I see it. <laughs> and I also see... <gasps> The White Rabbit from the book Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> the White Rabbit is always in a hurry. And look, there's a little clock right there in its pocket. Hi, White Rabbit. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Should we hop in the tunnel together? Okay, ready? Three, two, one, hop. Hey, I see giant playing cards. Sing is another sense. We explored feeling, smelling, and hearing, and now we can explore seeing. Ooh, you wanna check out these cards with me? Come on. Whoa, I see the letter A. And do you know what shape this is? Yeah, it's a heart. And there's a big, giant heart right there. Oh, it's like it's singing. Yes, I have a giant heart. That is so sweet. Oh, look at this one. I see the number two, that's right. And do you know what shape this is? That's a spade. Correct, Mika, that is a spade. Oh, I thank you so much. Ooh, and I see the number four. Do you know what shape this is? It's a diamond, cool. Yes, a diamond is my favorite shape. Oh, good to know. <laughs> Whoa, I see something really cool over there. Do you wanna check it out with me? Well, let's go. Whoa, do you see what's behind me? Giant apples. 
Look, there's a red one and a green one. Oh, and this one has a worm inside. Hi, worm, it's me, Mika. <laughs> you know, red apples usually taste sweet and green apples usually taste a little sour. <gasps> hey, taste, that's the fifth sense. We explored all five senses. Oh, that means that I get a treat. Will you help me look for it? Okay, let's go. Oh, excuse me, have you seen a treat for Mika? Something yummy you can eat like a mm -mm. Okay, no, all right. I found the treat! Oh boy! Wow! It's a cupcake! Check it out! With yummy icing on it. Ooh! Oh, and a note. Let's see here. Oh, it says for Mika. <laughs> That's me. Great job exploring your five senses and finishing your adventure. Enjoy this yummy treat. Hope you had fun. Your friend Blippi. Oh, Blippi is such a great friend. He knows that I like playing games and eating yummy treats. <laughs> hey, we explored all five senses. Seeing, hearing, feeling, smelling, tasting. Oh, now I get to taste the cupcake. Let's see here. Mmm, it's so good! Hey, we did it! We did it! We never ever quit it! We did it! We did it! We never ever quit it! <laughs> what a fun day we had! We went on a really cool adventure using our five senses! <laughs> Thank you so much for playing and learning with me. I loved learning that the blue whale is the biggest mammal on the planet. Oh, it must take up so much space in the ocean. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, I'll see you soon, bye. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey, 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 it's me, Blippi. I'm just out on a walk. And hey, did you notice the ground is really wet? Yeah, it must have rained here recently. Maybe today you and I can learn about rain, weather, rainbows, and walks. <laughs> Weather can sure be very unpredictable. Yeah, hey, if it's sunny, you might need a tank top. If it's cold, you might want a stocking cap. <laughs> but if it's about to rain, you definitely want some rain gear on. Woohoohoohoo, check it out. Yeah, I got my rain jacket on. Whoa, it's fully waterproof. So even if it pours down tons of rain, yeah, I will stay really dry. And I got my matching bottoms on. Yeah, what color's my outfit? Yeah, it's the color yellow, just like the sun. Where's the sun? I don't know. <laughs> but hey, check out my boots. Yeah, I have black rubber boots on. <laughs> and the last thing that I'm missing, yeah, let's go find an umbrella. <laughs> Okay, hey, let me put my hood on. Wow, it's really starting to rain. All right, check it out. An orange umbrella. Let's open it up. Whoa! 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 Now there's no rain hitting me at all. Wow! Okay, let's put this one away. What's this next one? Yeah, the first umbrella was really small. And this one, Whoa, it's so big. Whoa, whoa, check it out. Whoa, whoa. What color is this umbrella? Yeah, blue and white. Whoa, wee. Okay, let me put this down before I fly away. Okay, and for this umbrella, whoa. 
Check it out! Yeah, another big umbrella! And the colors of this umbrella are... Whoa! It is so stormy out! Yeah! It is white and green! Woohoo! Let's go! The cool thing about rain gear is you can even splash in the puddles and streams that were created by the rain and you won't even get wet! <laughs> Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Yeah! <laughs> hey, check it out! Look back here! Wow! Do you see this? Yeah, this is my rain collector. I set this out earlier before it started to rain and then all this rain collected from the top do you see how much it says wow yeah it says about two inches yeah that's just over five centimeters of rain wow that's a lot of rain okay i'm gonna pour it back yep onto our planet earth because when the rain falls on our planet, it's really good for it. It helps keep all the plants nice and moist and our oceans nice and full. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> hey, check it out! Yeah, these are my rainbow oculars. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah, they're the colors of the rainbow. Have you ever seen a rainbow before? Yeah, they love to come out after it rained. Yeah, a rainbow is an arch of colors made by light and water. Let's see if we can find one. Oh, 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 a rainbow. Oh, a double rainbow. Does rain come from? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> okay, let's start with water in a pond, or a stream, or the ocean. Yeah, water is a liquid at this time and place. And then water goes what's called evaporation. Yeah, evaporation is when the water becomes these little tiny particles and goes up in the air. Yeah, it turns into a gas, it goes up in the air, and then turns into some clouds. Whoa! Yeah! Clouds are awesome! Whoa, look at that cloud! That cloud looks like a piggy! Oink, 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 oink. Look at that cloud! That cloud looks like a T-Rex! <laughs> wow! And then all this gas water starts to come closer and closer and closer. Yeah, and those clouds start to form into liquid water again. Yeah, and then rain starts to fall. Whoa! Yeah, it's raining! <laughs> Whoa! And then they create puddles and streams and ponds, and the water goes back into the ocean again. 
and then the cycle goes over and over and again and again. Wow, that water cycle is so great. Woohoo! <laughs> Today's weather forecast sunny skies in the morning, followed by storms in the afternoon. Don't forget your umbrella. The morning looks nice, lots of sunshine, clouds of white, and a bright blue sky. But the sky's turning gray, there's wind and some rain, it looks like it's gonna be a stormy day. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather Like sunny, breezy, cloudy, warm, pleasant days Weather, weather, all kinds of weather Like windy, rainy, stormy, hot, muggy days A lightning bolt, that thundering sound There's a storm coming any moment now Tornadoes, hurricanes and floods Sometimes weather can be dangerous. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather. Like sunny, breezy, cloudy, warm, pleasant days. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather. Like windy, rainy, stormy, hot, muggy days. And when it's really, really cold, snowflakes will fall from the sky. Everything goes quiet. Everything is covered in white. Hey, the rain has stopped and the sun's shining again. Icy blizzard, cold, frigid days. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B L I P P I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you later. Bye bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Flippy. Hey, it's me, Flippy. And today we're here in Santa Ana, California. And I am so excited because you and I get to check out a Smash My Trash Truck. <laughs> and Learn about what happens after you throw away your garbage. <laughs> Come on! Whoa! Check it out! It's so big! <laughs> this is a Smash My Trash Truck, and it looks very familiar. Hmm, it has a cab and a boom. It looks just like an excavator, <laughs> but it's a little different. An excavator is yellow. But this Smash My Trash Truck is the color red. <laughs> and this truck doesn't dig dirt like an excavator. It smashes trash! <laughs> Ooh, let's get a closer look. <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> hey, this is the cab. Yeah, that's where the operator sits. And look, that's Operator Max. <laughs> Yeah, he has all the controls to control the boom. <laughs> and he can see everything that's happening so he can keep people safe. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. It's so big. <laughs> yeah, this is a really big and important part of the Smash My Trash Truck. It's the Smashing Drum. <laughs> Not that kind of drum, <laughs> so silly. <laughs> no, this drum helps to smash the trash. Yeah, it's really big and really heavy and chew up trash or wood or metal. <laughs> Whoa, basically anything, but not concrete. 
Whoa, and do you see this? Yeah, look. The smashing drum has really big teeth. <laughs> run, 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 run. <laughs> yeah, really big teeth to get into all that trash. <laughs> Whoa, it's so huge and it's so heavy. To move this truck around, you need really big wheels and tires. <laughs> Whoa, they're so big. They're as big as me. <laughs> Ooh, hey, look. This truck, it doesn't dig dirt and it doesn't just drive around. Because it has to smash trash, we need the trash. And we have it right here. <laughs> Whoa, this, it's kind of like a garbage can, but this, it's not a garbage can. It's a 40 foot hauling bin. <laughs> Whoa, that is so big. Yeah, it's so big that it can hold up to 10 tons of trash. Whoa, <laughs> and they use these to take the trash from a garbage can to the bin and to the bin to a landfill. Yeah, or a dump. <laughs> but when we're smashing the trash inside the hauling bin, we need to use wheel chucks. <laughs> Whoa, see? Yeah, these bins can be moved around, but when we're smashing it, the wheel chucks keep it in place so it doesn't shake or move when we're smashing the trash. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, this is so awesome. <laughs> it's so big. Hmm, it would be really cool and fun to see some trash get smashed. Oh, look, <laughs> there's a person. Let's go say hello. Come on. <laughs> Flippy, what's your name? Hi, I'm Steve. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Steve. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> is this your truck? Yes, it is. Whoa! <laughs> well, we've had a lot of fun learning all about it. But I have a question. Why do you want to smash your trash? Well, it's simple. It's a couple of reasons. One, let's talk about the environment for a second. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, this trash has to go somewhere, correct? Yeah, like a landfill or a dump? Exactly. So what this truck does, it comes down, it's going to smash it, it's going to tear it, it's going to rip it, and it's going to compact it so it doesn't take up so much space in the landfills. Oh, did you hear that? By smashing the trash, it makes the trash smaller. So it doesn't take up as much room, and you can put more trash in the landfill. But keep it nice and clean. <laughs> Absolutely. Also, what we do by smashing it down, now we're able to fill this bin a second and third time, so we eliminate the trucks on the roads that haul the trash away. Whoa! No trucks on the road means it's better for the environment. And you can refill this bin two times? Three times? Whoa, <laughs> that's a lot of trash. <laughs> and most important, we save the customer money so they don't have to haul away as frequently. <laughs> and that's important too. <laughs> uh, do you think we could see some trash get smashed? Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> great. I'm gonna just go run over there and start the truck up and you'll watch Max start smashing. <laughs> Whoa, I am so excited to see the Smash My Trash Truck crush some trash. It's gonna make it so small and compact and it'll make it better for the environment. <laughs> Whoa, and check out the bin. <laughs> Whoa, there's so much trash here. Look, there's cardboard and paper. Whoa, and it looks like a really big metal bin. <laughs> okay, it's getting started. <laughs> Let's back up a little so we're not too close and nice and safe. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa, check out the boom. <laughs> it's so tall. Check it out. <laughs> The smashing drum is awesome! <laughs> Whoa, check it out! Do you see that? 
the smashing drone is turning and grinding up all the trash to make it smaller. Yeah, it's more compact. Whoa! <laughs> Check it out! The trash was this high, and now it's really low. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no way! There was a big plastic barrel, and it chopped it in a lot of pieces. Whoa! Check it out! <laughs> oh, that's so cool! Whoa! This truck is so powerful! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa! That was awesome! Hi, Steve! Hi, Blippi! <laughs> that was so fun smashing the trash! <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed it, because you know what? We have another bin to smash right now. Whoa, we have another bin to smash? Do you think I could smash it? I'm thinking you should be smashing it. Oh, that would be so great. <laughs> let's do it. OK, let's go smash some trash. All righty. <laughs> oh, hi, Max. Hi, Blippi. <laughs> hi. Do you think you could show me how to smash some trash? Of course, hop on in the cab. OK, great. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, check it out. I'm climbing into the cab of the truck. <laughs> Whoa. Close that for you. I'll close the door. Safety first. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm in the cab. Yeah. <laughs> well, Max, I really want to smash some trash, but I don't know how to start. OK. First, let me go ahead and show you how to turn the machine on. OK. Grab that key okay. and flip it to the right. Whoa. It uses a key just like a car. <laughs> Whoa. That's really cool. And then once I turn it on, what do I do next? You're going to go ahead and lower the boom by pressing the left joystick. Whoa. Take the left joystick. Press it up. And I'll move it up. Yes. And then once I lower the drum, what do I do next? You're going to go ahead and start rotating the drum by using the second joystick. OK. And then the second joystick, going to move that forward and backward and forward. <laughs> well, I think I know everything I need. There you go. <laughs> wow. That was awesome, crushing trash with the Smash My Trash Truck. And it was really interesting learning about where garbage goes once you throw it away. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? OK. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Flippy. Today, we're in Tenino, Washington, in front of a greenhouse. Whoa, do you know what a greenhouse is? Yeah, a greenhouse is a house that houses plants. Yeah, it controls the environment, so then you can make sure that the temperature is just right for the plants to grow really big. <laughs> Let's go inside and check it out, come on. This place is awesome. There are so many plants here. Wow. Hey, look at this one. Yeah, it's a flower. Oh, oh smells so good. Looks so pretty. <laughs> yeah, check it out. Another one. Yeah, what color is this flower? Yeah, it's the color pink. Ooh, and all these leaves. What color are they? Yeah, the color green. Wow, flowers are so cool. You can put them on your tabletop and they look so pretty. Whoa, what kind of plants are these? Oh, they look real small compared to those flowers. Yeah, these are actually called succulents. Huh, interesting. They kind of look like cactuses. Yeah, but they're not pokey or anything. Actually, a cactus, 
Yeah, that's a type of succulent. Wow, succulents are so cool. Whoa. Ooh, some more flowers over here. Wow, there's so many flowers. A lot of greenhouses have flowers in them, or they could be growing fruits. <laughs> I love fruits. And they might grow vegetables. Yum! I love vegetables too. I really enjoy eating healthy. Do you eat healthy? <laughs> yeah, good job. But hey, what color is this flower? Yeah, it's the color purple. Come on! It's not a flower, it's not a fruit, it's not a vegetable. These look like a type of grass. Yeah, three different types of grasses. Look, whoa, looks like my hair. Hello, hey, <laughs> do I look silly or do I look silly? <laughs> oh, now that is silly. <laughs> Here's another type right here. Whoa, and another type. Whoa! Yeah, do you have grass at your house? You very well might! It's so fun to play in and roll in. Whoa! 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 <laughs> wow! <laughs> Ooh! There's so many plants in here. I enjoy greenhouses. Whoa! Look at this! Wow! Whoa! A big pot of flowers! Did you see how it was hanging? Yeah, this looks like a nice, pretty bouquet of flowers. Yeah, a bouquet is where it's a big group of flowers, but typically you cut them off and then you can make a very colorful bouquet. Wow, so pretty. But this is also pretty and it's in a hanging pot. Wow. All right, we have to make sure we put things back where we found them, woohoo! Whoa, check these out. Wow, so many colors. What colors do you see right here? Looks like that one is pink. That one right there is red. Woo, look at that one. It's the same color as the sun. Yeah, yellow. <laughs> Whoa. All right, I have a really fun thing for us to do together. Have you ever planted a plant? <laughs> yeah, it's so much fun. Do you see this? Yeah, you know what this is? It's a flower. It's an adult flower. It's really old. <laughs> and look at this one. This looks like a teenager or a baby. It hasn't even created the flower yet, but soon enough, this is going to turn into this. But in order for it to become this size, yeah, it starts out as a seed. Yeah, every single plant, like flowers, I should say, start out as seeds. All right, but the things that every plant needs are sun, water, soil, which is like a house, and nutrition, which is like food. Whoa, all right, so let's create this plant's house or home where we're gonna put the seed. Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's scoop up this soil. Oh, <laughs> I'm making a mess, that's okay. <laughs> I'll clean it up after. There we go, all right. This soil has a lot of nutrition already in it. Yeah, there we go. And sometimes the water that you put in this to water it has some nutrition in it as well. All right, so check this out. This right here is a flower seed. Wow, do you see how small it is? Yeah, so cool. So when you put this right in here and you push it down, 
there we go. Okay, let's cover it up just a little bit. The soil is nice and moist. And then after a while, it's gonna sprout up. And it's gonna be so small and cute. Oh! <laughs> and then it'll grow up to be this. Wow, so green and pretty. <laughs> but when it becomes an adult, it is going to flower. Yeah, good job. All right, so what are the four things that every plant needs to grow? Yeah, it needs some sun. It needs some soil. It needs some nutrition. And it needs some water. Wow, this was awesome. Walking through the forest, look at all the trees. They give us lots of air, what we need to breathe. Look at all the critters roaming on the ground. They help carry the seeds to grow plants all around. Flowers are blooming, making lots of food for all the bugs and creatures, even me and you. We're singing the earth song. Paper, glass, and plastic Taking care of the earth Will make you feel fantastic You can plant a tree Or pick up some trash Ask a friend for help Then it'll be a blast We're singing the earth song We're helping the planet Together, together We can make a change learning about plants with you. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I, Flippy. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye.